Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janice. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you what my kids got for Christmas. In regards to my kids, if you follow me and you know me, you know I only have one kid, but I'm also going to be showing you what my sister got for Christmas. So if you wanna see what my two-year-old daughter got for her Christmas, and I mixed in some of her birthday presents since her birthday was two weeks ago. I figured I'd just jumble it all together so you can see all the toys that she got. If you wanna go ahead and see my vlog from her birthday, I'll link it up. I actually have two vlogs. So I'll link the first one and then I'll link the second one. And in one of them, I'm showing you all of the clothes that she got and her actual birthday party. So anyways, I'm gonna be showing you what my two-year-old daughter got as well as what my 11-year-old sister got for Christmas from Santa. I'm gonna start off with a couple stocking stuffers that Mia got. Basically, it was all just bath toys. The problem with her bath toys is you guys know that if you get bath toys that water is able to go into them they get moldy they get disgusting and i really wasn't a fan of them anymore i was just getting tired of replacing them and i know there's a trick where you can take wherever the water goes into the toy you can just use a hot glue gun and basically like super glue it shut um, which I might do if I do purchase more like squishy toys for her bath stuff. But I actually ventured out and got her a bunch of stocking stuffers that are not squishies or any sort of like water can't get into them bath toys. So this is pretty basic. It's just the Munchkins rinser cup. Um, she was still using the cup from, what is it called? I feel like I never had a baby. The um, the four moms infant tub. <laughs> she still had the little tiny white cup that you use in that bathtub, the temperature monitor tub. So I was like, she needs a new cup. <laughs> she got this mermaid, like wind up the tail spins when you wind or when you push this little thing. So so winds up little mermaid. Um, she finds this thing so fun along with the other toy that I'm going to show you. Every time we wind it up in the bathtub and it's like we're kind of racing this one and the, every time we're racing this mermaid one and this little penguin, the penguin, you basically have to wind up its arms and then it'll, ah, the water. <laughs> It'll start going and swimming. So we race these two little fun bath toys and she she has a ball with these things. She's like, go, 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 go. Every time we turn these on. So it's super fun and no water's getting into them. So I find these way better. They are obviously pricier than the squishies. For a whole pack of squishies, you could probably get them for like $6. And each of these were like $6, but... She doesn't play with that many toys anyway. Like two really good bath toys are way better than 50 of the squishy ones that she hardly even touches. So the next stocking stuffer that went along with all the bath toys are these little stackable, let me put them all in the right direction, these stackable bath boats. These, she's really loving. I don't know if it's because you can stack them because she just sees all the boats running around in the water, but she's obsessed with these. But the reason why I am obsessed with these bath toys myself is because of the color. So each color Mia is starting to familiarize herself with. So if you saw her second year interview, you know that yellow is her favorite color. I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, I really like these because I can start telling her what color is this, what color is this, what color is this, this is green, and she's going to start really getting into colors now. So this is really good for her to have, especially during bath time. I wanted to also get something that had like numbers or ABCs, but the ones that I was finding, you can't like stick them onto the wall. Um, they were just like the normal ones, the, like the normal foam ones. So if any of you guys happen to know any of the letters or like numbers that you can stick onto the wall um, in the bathtub, link them down below if you have any. But I'm really enjoying all of the bath toys that Mia got as stocking stuffers. 
Okay, so now I'm going to use my notes list. My big thing of notes for all the stuff that Mia got. Um, starting off, now remember, most of this stuff is from her birthday and Christmas. If I can remember which one's from what occasion, I'll let you know. But if not, I don't remember. Her first present is actually from one of her daycare friends for her birthday. So this is a mini, I don't know the official name of it, Minnie Mouse Happy Helpers purse. Something like that. I'm going to have everything linked down below, I promise. But I don't know the description of half of these toys. So it comes with, it's just a little purse. And it's kind of like the upgrade version to the old purse that she used to have. Like the Fisher Price, the little pink purse that it has like ABCs and letters here that you can press. This is like the toddler updated version of that purse. Now we're getting into Disney and Minnie Mouse. So most of the stuff actually isn't in this purse. I have no idea where it is. Probably somewhere in her play box. But it comes with a phone. It comes with a passport. It comes with a little bracelet. And it's just a cute little toddler purse for her to use. Before I continue with the other presents, this is another stocking stuffer bath toy for Mia. I completely forgot about it. It was sitting over here in the corner because I wanted to show you guys this first before opening it. Um, and I still kind of wanted her to get used to the other toys that she currently just opened. So this is the Munchkin fishing pole. It just says fishing. So it's a fishing pole that she can use when she's in the bathtub. I think it's gonna be so cute. It says magnet catches the fish. And I really hope she likes these. She's actually gonna go take a bath right now. So let's see how it goes with this one. But this is so cute. All of the bath toys that I got were from Munchkin. I just like that brand in general. So I got her all Munchkin bath toys for Christmas. Okay, now I don't know where one of these Play-Dohs are. Things are already disappearing, but most of the stuff just goes into her, um, her play box. This is the Play-Doh mounting or <laughs> mounting mountain of colors this thing is crazy i i don't even think i had this many play-dohs as a kid it comes with 20 pieces of little like it it looks like little plastic knives and like they look like cookie cutters little things like that to where she can mold and play with the play-doh she got this from her birthday from one of my family members or friends I can't remember at this point, but this is an awesome gift. And she's actually done really well with this. I noticed that Mia takes one color at a time. She plays with that color. She, when she's done with it, she uses another color. So she's really good about not mixing the colors, which I'm really loving because I know she'll play with these properly. She'll put them back properly. And it just, it keeps the longevity of the toys because if not, they just... They mix all the colors, they ruin it, or they forget to completely close it, and then it's like, it's a waste of a toy. I'm noticing that she's playing with these well and nice and taking care of them, so that's a good sign that she'll just take care of all of her stuff. So what I got her for her birthday was this Fisher Price, what do you call it? Fisher Price Little People Princess Castle. <laughs> and. I'm gonna insert the actual castle here, but it's obviously too big to show. I also went to Target and got her these cute little princesses. So she has all of the princesses to go with the princess castle. And if you notice in Miss Prince, poor Princess Ariel's face, she has, I forgot what this was. Oh, this was my eyebrow. My Anastasia brow pomade is actually on Ariel's face Poor thing. She was playing makeup one day and I noticed that she took my eyebrow pomade and my little brush that I always use and She was saying eyebrows eyebrows and she put eyebrows on all the princesses <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can't even be mad at that like whatever she was playing with my makeup, but It's fine. It's a pomade and when you dip into it anyway, it gets ruined and crazy after a few months anyway so it didn't matter but 
that was a present that I got her. That was the only present I got for her birthday. One, because I paid for the entire party. And number two, because I knew she was going to get 50 million presents. And I knew two weeks after she was going to get Christmas presents. So that was mommy's one gift. I got her her first princess castle. (laughs) Okay, so this was... I think everything after that is from Christmas. So this is the Rapunzel styling head. You can get any princess, basically, or any character or whatever styling head. And Mia got the Princess Rapunzel. But I knew I wanted to get her a styling head because she likes doing everybody's hair. She likes doing my hair. She'll grab my sister's hair and she likes doing my sister's hair. So I wanted her to have a doll with long luxurious hair so that she could do a doll's hair rather than pulling mine mini disney junior royal ball mini and it has 12 fashion pieces fisher price two years and up and it's basically a set where you can help it says help mini choose the right outfit for the royal ball so it comes with really nice outfits that you can just put on I'm assuming these are just like yeah they don't have backs to them so it's just like snap on put on a dress on mini and this is going to be really cute it's like a little introduction to learning how to play dress up along with the mini I noticed she got a lot of mini and Disney princess which is pretty typical at this age especially if you're a girl that's just what you get as a kid Disney stuff (laughs) Mia got this from her cousin it is a mini tea party set and it comes with it looks like donuts teacups plates just the standard like cute little teacup stuff she actually is opening this up a lot i keep this right on top of her pink um kid craft table and she picks this up a lot she likes playing with this she likes pretending to cook she also likes her kitchen She likes all that stuff. This was actually a gift from her grandparents along with something else I'm going to show you. It's just like a Minnie Mouse travel case. I don't know. I'm going to try and find it. And right, I don't know. This is like a worm thing, but I don't know why that's in there. But she currently has all of the Rapunzel styling head brushes in here to go along with her little princess hair thing. So I just keep all the bows and all the stuff in here. And it comes with like a, it came with a little cute lipstick. Fake lipstick, a little bow. And like I said, I have all of the, I have all of the styling head accessories in here. So this is just like a mini mouse travel bag. Um, I guess you can put other things in here. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be toys. You could actually put hair products and like their actual like Mia's actual hair scrunchies and bows and stuff like that she has too many honestly for this box but this is cute for all of her dolls and like her doll hair stuff to be in if you get what I mean okay the next thing that I want to show you guys is actually well I don't think it's that big it is right there if you can see it's not that big to show you but it's kind of heavy this is the Disney Princess Travel Vanity set. So Mia currently, let me try and open it. Mia currently has this on top of her new, um, if you guys saw, I don't remember what vlog it is, but if I find it, I'm gonna leave it. During Vlogmas for her birthday, she was also, I was gonna say gifted, but I purchased um, Mia a new princess bed and the reason why I did it is because I was noticing that her pottery barn crib she wasn't sleeping in anymore even though I transferred it or converted it to a toddler bed she wasn't sleeping in it anymore and I have the whole story in that vlog about how annoying it's been and how she hasn't been sleeping so along with the bed came a cute little table I'm gonna try and find the link to the whole set but it's just a normal princess table. And on top of the princess table, she has this, you guys will like see my ring light, but she has this Disney princess vanity. And the vanity actually, this thing's heavy. The vanity actually lights up. And if you can see, she has makeup already in here. 
most of it is play stuff like these little and of course i ran out of space i've been doing vlogmas and i finally like put everything together and uploaded everything that i needed to but obviously forgot to remove it from my sd card so i ran out of space as i was saying now i don't even remember what i was saying but anyways so this vanity comes with a bunch of different stuff and you can also buy sets to where it comes with like a blow dryer or i think it comes with like different makeup but um what it came with is actually pretty fine and also her aunt let me tell you guys something mia is currently obsessed with wearing makeup and because she sees me wear it not every day but at least at minimum, she'll see me put on my eyebrows and like mascara for work and stuff like that. Um, this is, it's called a Jackie and Lauren, I don't know, unicorn makeup. It's just random makeup. And do you guys see the glitter at the top? The glitter is basically gone. <laughs> she still uses, she could still use the blushes and stuff like that, but... All she's been using is the glitter. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know this is on her face most of the time. And it came with these cute little brushes. I actually need to clean these brushes. I just realized how like sticky they are. But it comes with these cute little unicorn brushes and they're super colorful. And so Mia has been obsessing over this vanity. So yeah, as you can see, the vanity sits literally right here next to my beauty desk and we just do our makeup in the mornings whenever we get the chance. Or Saturdays when I have to get my stuff done and get myself ready, she will go ahead and sit right there next to me and it's perfect. So Mia also got a Baby CC doll. Baby CC is from the show Doc McStuffins. If you guys don't know Doc McStuffins, she's a toy doctor, so a the cartoon is she puts toys back together and she helps toys that are broken or whatever the case may be. So Mia got a baby CC doll and along with the baby CC doll, it's too big for me to show. So again, the picture is going right here. Mia got the Doc McStuffins all-in-one nursery. And the nursery comes with a little laptop. Like I said, you'll see it here. It comes with a laptop. You can, it comes with like a little crib. You can weigh the baby, you can put stickers on the baby, band-aids, um, check her temperature, it comes with a stethoscope, all that stuff. It's super cute. It's plastic, but it's actually very nice. It was super easy to put together. Um, and Mia's been obsessing over her new Doc McStuffins nursery. Next thing on the list is this, I just put JoJo Karaoke Purse because I don't know what the official name is called. I'll find it for you guys. Um, but this is just like basically Mia's first microphone set. It comes with, if I could take it off, comes with a microphone. And you can put in, I don't remember where, but I know you could put an aux cord and actually play your own music. Can you hear it? Testing, testing. You could actually sing. The microphone works, as you can see. <laughs> And this is really cool. Mia's been loving this. My child's loud enough as it is, so she's been really having fun with singing and dancing with this thing. To, I'm going to leave Mia's toddler bed, like I said, link down below. And I'm also going to leave the Disney princess sheets that I purchased for her toddler bed. And then the other things that were for Christmas, Mia got this, if you can see, it's a princess potty book and as you know she's already two so Mia's gonna start getting potty trained and this book comes with a princess crown it comes with the actual book that you'll read I'll start reading to her and it comes with a magnetic chart so I'm hoping that this princess book is just going to help me start potty training Mia so the book it says, I'm the potty princess. Mommy says diapers are for babies. I'm ready for big girl pants. So it's just a story about how the little girl starts using the potty. 
and how you're supposed to wash your hands and shows little mannerisms like that. Um, it says, put the stars on the chart for all the steps you complete. A star-filled chart and you get a special treat. So, and then it comes with a little crown if you put all the stars on the chart. Which one's this? This is the actual chart. So, the reason why I like this so much is because I was I was looking for some sort of chart, but they were all like with stickers. And the reason why I like this one is because it's magnetic. So it's reusable magnetic stars. I really enjoyed the fact that this was reusable um, and we could just take them off and on as we please. So it says potty princess. I asked to go to the potty. I sat on the potty. I went potty. I wiped and flushed and I washed my hands. So super adorable. When Mia fills up this chart or when she fills up, I guess, one line of the sec of this section, then she'll get to wear her little potty princess crown. I could give her a treat, start doing all that stuff. Um, but I'm really excited. And this is the little potty princess crown. I'm hoping, oh, and it actually gives top tips to perfect princess potty training. So I'm actually gonna read this right now since I didn't even know that this was in here. I'm gonna read that and we're gonna start getting in preparation for potty training. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> and then of course, I had to get her the Disney Princess Soft Potty Seat. So I got her just a regular potty seat because I don't like the idea of having another like potty seat that I have to clean and I have to do all that stuff for. Feels like too much work for me. I don't got the time for that. So she already has a step stool currently in her bathroom and I just bought her a potty seat. Um, I did notice though, when I went to Target, I saw these and I saw the one that came with the handle, like not the handle, the, the hook to where you could just hook it on. But the back of my door is like the back of my bathroom door is already filled with a bunch of towels. So I don't know where I would hook it. Maybe next to the potty seat because all of the, what's it called? The toilet paper is in front of us, not next to us, like on the sink. So maybe I'll just do that. I'll, or I could even buy a command hook, honestly. Just command hook it onto right there where the sink is. I don't know, but. I like this better. Mia will use a regular potty in daycare anyway. She, The teacher doesn't have like one of those other sit down potties. They use the regular potty once they're tall enough. So I just rather prefer this. So yeah, super excited for potty training. I'm hoping, I know I have to be patient and she's not gonna get it the first time, but I'm hoping she gets the gist of it quick. Um, but then again, I don't because then it's like if you're out, you have to constantly make sure that she's using the bathroom and things like that. If you hear Mia crying in the background, she's with her father. I don't know. I have my mic on so you purposely wouldn't hear everything that's going on in this house. But if you hear her, she's not by herself. She's with her dad. <laughs> okay, so now let me go ahead and quickly show what Desiree got for Christmas. Desiree got some cool items. Desi got some pretty expensive item so I'm hoping that she takes care of this stuff. Desi's currently 11 years old if you guys didn't know she's not hitting teenage years but she's sort of hitting preteen years. You guys know nowadays kids grow up so fast and they start getting onto it seems like now kids are getting onto like the trendier trends more so than when we were kids like I remember when I was still 11, I probably looked like I didn't know much about technology. I didn't know much about the newest things out there. I think the only like new thing I had was like an iPod, but kids are getting fashionable and trendy nowadays. So Desi got some black and white vans, super sleek, super cute. I've never actually had a pair of these vans. I used the vans that I used, used to like as a kid were like the slip-on kind of ones that they kind of look like Tom's, but they had the little laces in the front. Those were the vans that I like, but she likes these. And that's also a cute spin-off because 
most of her sneakers are all Nike, so it's nice to have like a different brand too for sneakers. And then Desiree got this, what is this? Project MC Science Perfume Maker. So this is for my sister to create her own perfume and it has the scents included, the colors, pour, scent, pump, and spray. So this is a cute little project that she'll have to do. She also has, I don't even think she's touched it yet. She also has like, my sister likes like DIY things. So she likes do it, do, what do you call them? She likes the DIY bath bombs and um, bracelets and stuff like that still too. So the perfume maker is actually a really cool DIY for her to do. My dad gifted both my sister and I these Victoria Secret, Victoria Secret fragrance mists. Um, she got the one that's called Velvet Petals. It actually smells more like candy. So it fits her a little bit better. I got the one that's like love, it's not love spell because I thought it was love spell when I opened it. It was love something. I'll find it and I'll leave a link down below. It smells a little bit more mature, more relaxing, kind of like roses. So it's really nice. So Desiree also got a cool little GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero Session, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it says it right here in the <laughs> GoPro Hero Session. So Desiree's been obsessing over this because Big Sister is now doing YouTube and I'm always filming. So now she's like, I want to film. I want to do videos too. And then Desi, last but not least, Desiree got these Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones. I'm probably more excited for these Beats than Desiree is. I actually haven't gotten the chance to use them. But probably after I finish filming this, I'm gonna see if I can edit with these things. And it's actually cool because even though they're wireless, you can still use the wire to them. Whoa. That's your baby? Desiree's really enjoying her very nice and pricey Christmas gifts. <laughs> so that wraps up this video, guys. That's what my daughter got for Christmas and her birthday, as well as what my little sister got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have the best holidays so far. I hope your new year's is awesome. I hope you guys kick off the new year with happiness and love and your family members and just a good old time. I'm hoping to get this uploaded. Today's actually Monday, it's New Year's Eve. So I'm hoping to get this uploaded today so that you guys can see it before the new year. But if not, I'll see you guys in 2019. Mia made a quick appearance to my video. She looks a little crazy. She just took a bath, but we're gonna get her ready for New Year's Eve later. Hopefully she takes a nap because tonight's gonna be a very long night. Mm -hmm. But let's say bye. Say, we'll see you guys next year. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Besitos. Mwah. <laughs>